TV. Guys, Apex Legends. Right. I got to tell you. Quick fix. If you guys are experiencing any buffering or frame droppage in OBS because you're trying to stream uh, Apex Legends from your, your, from your PC, switch it to borderless mode. Switch it to borderless window. That will stop all the frame drops happening within the game. Go to training real fast and show you guys a brief epic. I'm trying to tell you, this game is really epic, and I was trying to stream it for the last two days, but I was wondering what was going on because I couldn't like. Welcome to Apex Legends. I couldn't stream it because it kept dropping frames in OBS. Like, I don't know if it was sharing. Like, <sighs> it's because I had it in window mode. I usually have all my games in window mode, so I guess that runs like an app instead of like on your basically your engine or your CPU or your GPU or whatever. I'm not too hip or too fond of that just yet, but I will get more information about that. But it, whenever you run it in window mode and you try to run into AVS and you set it on 30 frames, 40 frames, 60 frames, 50 frames, 20 frames, 10 frames, you're dropping. It doesn't matter what you're doing. So a quick fix on that is just switching to the switching it to borderless mode as a whole. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, no frame drop. It's crispy clear, super clean. Give me one sec. Drop some frames right there. Guess whenever it loads up the map. It'll drop frames for the OBS, but it seemed like a quick fix for that would uh, pushing it to border mode. One sec. <clears throat> Maybe it's doing that because it's the optimization app. Like the app is just 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 came out, so it needs to optimize certain uh, whatever. But I'm running off a of SkyTech Omega gaming console, Omega gaming computer. All right, right now we're experiencing a little frame drops in, in OBS, the but not too much. Like it stops as soon as the map finishes loading up. So either it's running off the same GPU, GPU, CPU uh, usage as OBS, or <clears throat> it's doing too much, <clears throat> and it's uh my computer can't handle it. But, which is weird, because I run Fortnite on max frames, unlimited frames, and it just doesn't happen. Black Ops, same thing. Battlefield 5, same thing. Fallout 76, same thing. It's only when I start this game is when I use frames in OBS. It drops like a couple frames, one of my 38. The max, it's, it's dropping right now because I put it in boardless, is 15 frames per second. Which is still decent, I guess. Before, it was dropping all the way down to 0, 2, 1... I might try it in full screen mode and see if it'll do the same thing, but at the same time I won't be able to up with it because I'll be uh the full screen will be overlaid over OBS or OBS would be overlaid over the screen and therefore you won't be able to move as so if you're dropping frames or not. So yeah, borderless mode versus windowed mode. Borderless you don't drop as many frames in OBS. And Window, when you're in window mode, you drop a, you quite a few. But since we're playing it right now, I'll give you a couple games play. Training mode for you in uh, Apex. Basic training. Switch ordinances. Go ordinance. Med kit. It's pretty decent. It's, it feels like Black Ops and Halo mix. With a little bit of Borderlands animation. Oh gee. Ordnance. Inside the supply bin you will find a weapon and ammo. Arm yourself. The battle calls upon you. 
Slaughter as many targets as you wish. It's like any FPS you've been playing on computer. Each shot is important as well as the weapon you hold. Grab a second weapon. The field is full of choices. Remember, you can carry only two weapons. To equip another weapon, you must swap out the one you are holding. Choose your new weapon. to becoming an apex legend is communication with your brethren you can ping different locations objects and enemies depending on where you're looking gotcha the checklist to cycle through your pings let's go this way hostile spotted it is very useful to ping mode when you have uh... Here. That way you can uh, let your enemies, let, let your uh, teammates know what's going on. Basically, Apex Legend is a three, three man squad game with a 60 player map on an open world. Just like Fortnite, just like Black Ops VR, just like PUBG VR. But this is a three man squad though. I don't know if they're going to implement maybe duos, solos, four man squads. Different modes, maybe uh, team deathmatch, like stuff like that. It'll be it'll be nice to play this game in team deathmatch because it has a, a Halo feel to it, I should say. You can kick, jump, jump, kick, punch, melee. Jump through weapons, throw grenades. Fly just like Black Ops. They might implement cars and things and uh, vehicles later, just like Fortnite has done. But for now, it's, it's pretty basically ba pretty basic on the on the foot uh, warfare, ground-based warfare, I would call it. The All Father blesses you. Pathfinder will continue your training. I will see you again, my fellow fighter. We may even shed blood together. Hi, friend. I'm Pathfinder. I'm excited to fight you in the ring, but first, it's let tall. me give you some helpful tips. Working together in a squad is very important and very fun. Here is your squad mate, a digital utility Mach Man Intelligent Example, or Dummy for short. During a match, you or your teammates can get knocked down. But don't worry, with skill, everyone can have the chance to be revived. Just approach your dummy and hold the prompt button on your HUD to revive them. Why does he call him a dummy? That's kind of mean. I mean, he is a dummy, but why don't you just call him a mock right. robot or something? Welcome back, dummy. Now, here's a good thing to know. Each one of us has a unique tactical ability. You are Lifeline, and you have a health drone that distributes health to anyone next to it. Give it a try and heal your friend. Just hit the tactical button on your HUD. Great job. Helping out your squad is the best. But this world looks amazing. Down. See this guys? It looks so stunning. Don't worry too much. You still have a chance to bring your friend back. Approach dummy's stash and grab their banner. Basically whenever your player or a teammate is downed, if they're not before they bleed out, you can grab their banner. Great. That means you, you can respawn them. Bring back your friends from any active respawn beacon. So it's a BR mode, but it's also Approach like a team deathmatch type and mode. When prompted, hold for activation. Be careful. It takes some time to contact the dropship. You could get shot. That wouldn't be good. You did it. Here they come. Teammate just got respawned. That's how respawns work in this game. Welcome back, dummy. Here's another thing. Like our tactical abilities, each of us has an ultimate ability that you can use when it's ready. As Lifeline, your ultimate calls in a Lifeline package that delivers all types of defensive loot from large health kits to high-tier body armor. 
Looks like Dummy needs some stuff. Call in your lifeline package to help them out. Sorry about that. Remember in live me, I was just checking my messages. Like somebody had messaged me about something within my family, so we're just making sure everything was alright. Here it comes. Over there, you love that. Approach it and open it up. Grab what you need or ping items for your friends. That's all for me. Great work. Remember, each one of us has different tactical and ultimate abilities, so give us all a try. See you in the ring. I get to use zip lines to reach high places and move quickly. Ending, ending, and so basically, guys, that was it. Pretty easy, pretty normal. I mean, look at this world. Who doesn't want to play this? Come on, man. Apex Legends. Amazing. That's official gameplay with King Yoshi mates. Walk through, training exercises, and brief explanations on how to uh, work various things. I'll catch you later. Yoshi! Out.